Good evening, everyone. Um, yeah. Th in this session, um, we're going to talk about um, the um, PID allocator optimizations for transparent native pages, as well as um, memory partitioning. So I'll start with the uh, first topic in the uh, first half of, the, of this session because we're gonna we got a half an hour, and I might be uh, able to I might um, run over a little bit, over time a little bit. So um, I'll if you have questions, um, please just stop me and uh, ask me. I know it might be late for you, so um, I'll try to um, finish early for this, this entire session. <clears throat> so um, this was a uh, topic at the um, SFMM this year, and uh, I reused most of the uh, slides I presented there. Also, I added some new um, uh, slides at the end of this deck. So um, here um, we um, are some uh, facts why you know um, different architectures explored larger page, base page sizes, and uh, um, of course, uh, on x86, we don't have that luxury because um, the only base page size we support is 4KB, right? So um, I have a proposition here. So um, 4KB, uh, at least on x86, was, um, um, uh, came out a long time ago, right? Probably three, four decades ago. And uh, uh, whether it made sense at that time, I don't know. But right, but uh, at the moment, I don't think that's the uh, best page size for a uh, majority for majority workloads in data centers. Um, not not even on high end desktop workloads or phones. Um, so my proposition here is that um, we. And OS should find a way to support larger page sizes or freer larger page sizes over 4KB. But at the same time, we uh, it, this feature should not depend on hardware or break ABI. This is a, for example, on, on ARM64, uh, if we want to switch from 4K to uh, 16K, we would break ABI, right? So, um, but on X86, we don't have 16K base page support. Also, we don't want really want to break ABI. So that would be um, two requirements that uh, can help us uh, transition to a larger logical page size. So uh, I'm not talking about any specific uh, OS. You know, Windows, Mac OS, Mac OS already uh, has been doing this, uh, right? So. Um, this is, I think, is a general tool for uh, most modern uh, operating systems, right? Probably not in embedded operating systems, but for most modern ones running on high-end devices, yes, I think this uh, should be considered. So the rationale uh, behind that proposition is that um, favoring larger page sizes uh, can bring um, better overall performance, right? And also on less metadata overhead, because to man to man, let's say I have a um, laptop equipped with four gig memory, so that would be if I use four K as base page size, that'd be a million pages to manage, right? It's not scalable. So also, um, since we don't want to break ABI, we still have to support four K. So what does this mean for us, right? So that means you have to choose which one really you want to um, prioritize. Right now, we do support transparent native pages, but they are the second class citizen, right? Or at least if you, uh, you might not be able to get a THP, but you, you, well, even you can get a 4K page, right? So, but can we really uh, make this the other way around? Can we say, okay, uh, if you try to allocate 4K, you might fail, but if you try to allocate THP, you might have better luck, right? Just like um, how we support uh, DMA and DMA32 uh, zones. Let's say you have a really uh, legacy device, you want to allocate memory for this device, you might fail, 
right? But uh, if you have newer PCIe devices, you, you can succeed actually. So um, that means we have to look at um, the priority of um, allocating 4KB and THPs differently, right? So this is uh, this um, different angle or this different point of view gives us this um, comparison table. Basically, right now, if we try to allocate 4KB, it's, it's now uh, cheap, right? We try to allocate THP, it's expensive. So um, the proposition is that based on the pro proposition, we want to make the offset, right? When you try to allocate 4KB pages, it's going to be very expensive or relatively expensive. Or we, uh, when you allocate THPs, they're going to be cheap, right? Similarly, when you convert between um, THPs and 4K, 4K pages or base pages, right? Uh, what, okay, why do we need this conversion? Because we, without it, we would become a larger base page size, right? We would not be able to maintain the ABI. So that's why we um, must have the conversion. Right now, if we convert a THP to 4K, 4K pages, we what we do is, um, is it's cheap, right? Because you just need to split this this larger uh, THP, 2 mac THP, for example, 2 mac THP into 5, 12, 4K pages. And, <clears throat> but we actually can make it expensive, right? Because we say, okay, you are not supposed to, um, let's say you are, you, are, you, are, you, are, you, are, you are buying wholesale, right? You, you are buying uh, a six pack beer. Right, it's cheaper. But if you buy six bottles individually, the, the total cost might be higher. Right. So that's the idea behind this. Also, um, when you uh, convert a bunch of 4K pages into THP, right now it's expensive. But we actually can, in theory at least, to make it cheap. So here uh, in this um, slide, it shows how we actually we can do that. Right. Because um, there, there are two uh, ways to do the conversion. One is in place. I say you, you, the, 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 the a simple example uh, is that when you split THP, right, you do it in place. You do not make copy. You do not uh, migrate data, or you do not make, um, do not do copy, right? Do not copy data, right? The other one is out of place, right? So out of place definitely is, is, a, is a, like has a overhead from uh, copying, right? So when uh, you convert the 4K pages, 512 4K pages into THP, right? If you do the in place, we call it uh, recover. This is something new, right? Right now we, we only have uh, collapsing. That means you have to copy 512 uh, 4K pages into a new THP. This, this, this THP, this 2 Mac THP is uh, uh, newly allocated. It's from different region. Also, when you do um, when you convert a THP to 4K pages, this is a new uh, conversion shader is actually uh, does it out of place. Right now, we don't do the in place. Right, you, you when you split a 2 mag THP into into 4K pages, you just split. You just um, only change the metadata. Right, you don't really copy the payload. But here, if you copy the payload to a new location, then you're gonna you're gonna make the cost. You're gonna introduce a new overhead, but that's what I actually want to do. Why? Because um, as I mentioned previously, right, we want to make it uh, expensive because you're not supposed to use 4K pages or 4K, we consider 4K pages uh, legacy. You're supposed you're supposed to use as many teachers as possible so that you know uh, they can um, reduce the overhead and improve performance. Questions so far? Okay, good. Thank you. So um, the next uh, in this in this slide, all I'm saying is that there are ways to um, implement policies or implement allocation fallback based on uh, allocation time uh, hints. Right. We right now we only have two allocation time hints, which are um, movable. Whether this allocation is movable or not, and whether whether this allocation is compound page or not. Right. So of course, um, for some current allocations, we still use uh, non-compound um, on large pages or, or large folios, or not folios, um, non-compound uh, non allocations. So um, 
if we assign um, different weights to to these two um, hints, right, then we can calculate how we should do the fallback, right? Here, um, JFP Movable has base weight two, right, and JFP Compound has base base weight one. Why? Because um, if it's movable, right, you can move this allocation to somewhere else to make space for a uh, compound allocation, right? So that's why it's um, movable is more important than compound. So by sum the base weight, right, you got total weight. So we can see here, um, I, I have a list at bottom. So movable compound actually is the most desired allocations, right? Because first you are uh, you 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 allocate large uh, allocate other TCP a large folder, right? And second, whatever you allocate, how, how large you have, that doesn't matter how large you allocate, it's also movable. I can move you when we need it, right? So that that's that's the most uh, ideal situation. And then it's movable, right? You only request the forky page base page. Yes, it's very small, but it's not of the worst because I still can move this rocket page when needed so that I can make space for um, other um, compound allocations, right? Then the next one in this list, list is uh, a movable compound, right? And then the last one is a movable. Because why? Because in the worst case scenario, you can, this can this type of allocation can uh, spread out over the entire memory. Let's say you allocate a bunch of 4K unmovable, you make a bunch of four, unmovable 4K allocations. The worst case scenario is that you can uh, spread those 4K unmovable pages all over the place and make every page block unmovable, right? So also there are runtime hints, which are um, we might not have the time to discuss, but basically this uh, lifetime and the hotness and coldness. But because we cannot, we, we, we might be able to, um, by doing sampling, we might be able to uh, get some uh, FDO data, uh, feedback uh, optimization data, but mostly the hints are runtime. It's not, we cannot really decide it without uh, statistically uh, sampling, right? So also um, with user base, so how do we really uh, leverage this uh, new economy? I just mentioned the opposite of what we ha currently have. We still we 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 would need to make actually some. Um, it's not hundred percent transparent, right? We may need some. We may user base might need to make some changes to also uh, make this optimization better, right? So, um, for example. I'll give an example here. So let's say we have we we have we two uh, tasks running, right? One is high priority, the other is low priority, right? So right now, one allocates a bunch of forty pages, the other trying to allocate a bunch of THPs, but uh, it cannot because the second one, the first one actually fragmented the memory, or made it, or made the uh, THP allocation harder. So we need to, uh, but the first task is also a low priority task. So that actually causes a priority inversion problem. So how do we fix this? We definitely need something from user space, right? Because without uh, uh, additional information from user space, we do know the first task is low priority, the second one is high priority. So um, partitioning. So um, the, the idea is just like the uh, image I included here to illustrate the idea. So we want to segregate the 4K partition and the TCP partition so that we can have guaranteed TCP coverage, right? Because without without uh, partitioning, we would, we, we would only be best effort. We cannot provide guaranteed uh, TCP coverage. So of course, you know, when you partition, you know, if, if you say most, none of the cars are um, carpooled, right? We would have empty um, carpool lane. So that means it would reduce the uh, utilization, right? So here I also have a table to show the difference here. So it, again, it, this is complete the opposite of the existing uh, uh, scheme. So now we have partition, right? But then we, we, how do we exactly partition the memory? So we need to figure out how to do it. 
right? Of course, we again, it cannot be 100% transparent. We would need something like uh, min max, which are similar to memory usage min max, right? What does this mean? In addition to charge uh, charging memory usage, we also actually charge uh, physical contiguity. That means we see TTPs as kind of a resource, right? I can quickly touch on what we have to do at Google. So at Google, we're not only concerned with memory usage, we we monitor uh, fragmentation. That means we 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 also uh, concerned with uh, physical connectivity. We also monitor memory bandwidth or try to allocate the memory bandwidth, right? We also monitor cache, CPU cache. So that's more um, things we do because only worry about the usage in a multi-tenant system is not enough. You know, low, low priority job can use more TTPs, low priority job can use more memory bandwidth, or low priority job can use uh, more cache. Right, that this would all cause um, priority inversion. Questions on this one? Awesome. So next one, auto resizing and ohm chaos. So <clears throat> to do all this, we, we, we also, also need, need to. Hang on a second. Sorry, we, we do have a question. So this partitioning is it through separate zones? We are, we not, are not there, there yet. yet. Yes. yes, and, and we're, we're not, not there, there yet, because <laughs> that, that'll, that'll be, be the, the second topic, topic policy zones. We'll, we'll be there, be there uh, uh, really soon, because this, this, this is, is very general. general. How, how, okay. how, how do we, we exactly, exactly implement, implement this is, 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 is like, like open, open to, to discuss, uh, discuss, discuss, discuss. discuss. Right, right, you, you, you can, of course, I personally prefer zones. You can, you, 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 you can you try to use pit blocks, you can try to use other other stuff to, to implement, right? right? The, basic the basic idea is, is like, this, is, this, this area or all this um, bunch, bunch of uh, uh, regions, regions are for this purpose, purpose. and that, that, bunch, that bunch of small, small regions, or that, that, that bunch of uh, uh, area, is, that, that, that big area is for different purposes. That's the whole idea. So also auto resizing and the ohm chaos. So now we see, you know, we prefer THPs, and we see 4K allocation as second class citizen. So that means if you don't have enough 4K pages to uh, fulfill the request, the allocation request, you would have to make a decision whether you 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 try to uh, resize in zones or you try to own kill, right? That's only um, two obvious um, paths to go down. Of course, you can you can thrash you can thrash you can you know crash, right? But that's uh, undesirable. So if you resize, right? If you make the THP zone smaller, or sorry, I should call it zone. I should call it partition. THP partition smaller, right? Then that means you might not be able to make larger later, right? Because um, why? Because um, once you use it a um, to 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 um, allocate on mobile allocations, right? You might not be able to move those over mobile allocations. Of course, you could own queue. Because why? Because as I said, uh, 4K, page, 4K allocations are legacy. Just like a, a device trying to allocate from DMA zone, right? And uh, yeah, if it fails, it fails, right? Um, can you hear me? Yes. yes. I'm, I'm trying to get my head around what you mean by 4K allocations are legacy. Uh, I just, I mean, if a, if a driver needs 4K of memory, are you saying like, no, you should allocate 2 meg? I mean, that is that is just wasteful, right? There is no benefit to allocating more memory than you need just to to not be considered legacy. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to understand this. No, oh, oh, it's, it's not, not about the driver. driver. It's, it's mostly, mostly about... Uh, a uh, user um, memory. Well, again, the user's uh, application uh, will allocate as much memory if it, as it needs, right? If it needs 100 megs, it'll allocate 100 megs, and then hopefully it'll get THPs. Again, are you saying that user space should allocate more memory than they need just to get THPs? Yeah, uh, it's, so you, uh, if user space tries to get 100 meg, right? I can give you 100 meg of 4K pages. No THPs at all. And on the other hand, okay, two extremes. On the other hand, I can give you 100 meg of THPs, not 4K pages at all. 
right now it's like the best effort. When, when you said THP to always, right? Right now it's best effort. I'll try to give you as many as THP as possible, but uh, you could, but the, what, the, the worst case scenario is like you get zero THPs. But now I'm saying we should do the opposite. I'll try to give they you as many, many THPs. Yeah. What process. are you asking the application to do differently? Nothing. Nothing. So then what but does it mean to know, that 4K is legacy? Like, uh, yeah, I... uh, that, that, mean, mean, that, that means we, we, when we, we design, design the system, system we, we think, think okay, okay, if you uh, uh, try, try to add, right, right now, now try, try, okay, okay, as long as, as, long as, as let me put it this way, as long as, right now, as long as you have free memory, memory right? right? And right now, you always can get 4 This makes sense, right? Yeah, there's free memory. And you allocate 4K, you always can get it, right? And the, what I'm saying is, um, this making like means, oh, there's free memory, but actually it's not for 4K. You only that free memory are uh, is reserved for THPs only. I mean, if your user space sense. application only needs 4K of memory, are you telling me I actually have to allocate more memory than I need so that my allocation will succeed? It's... No, no, what, what, what do you mean by mean? user space only need 4K memory? You mean user space? Okay, this depends on how you set a TGP. If you set TGP to always, and and uh, this user space can, this allocation can be backed by TGP, right? You will get a TGP instead of 4K. If you're trying, you're trying to, to allocate 4K, 4K and that's it because of allocation. Of backing that allocation because with the THP. I, you only actually benefit mm -hmm. if you're allocating a large amount of memory and you're optimizing your TLB performance, then it makes sense to use THPs, right? It, it depends, depends. Because, because you have THP set, you have your own THP settings, right? You can set it to different ways. You can disable THP. Of course, this in this case we will not be able to um, reap the benefit from um, this um, TGP partition, right? But if you set TGP to always, right now it's like if you have free memory, you not you're not guaranteed to get TGP, but you are guaranteed, guaranteed to get, get 4K. 4K. So the, the, there, there there is a priority here, right? Which one is like? When you have free memory, what's, what what this free memory would be? Would be a 4K page? Would it be five tall 4K pages, or would it be a, a two meg THP? Whoever needs the memory, right? If if a if an application only needs 4K, it should should split that THP, and it should you should split that huge entry in the buddy list, and the caller should get their 4K. Uh. <laughs> If I cannot give you, if you, if your allocation is not aligned, right, I cannot give you TGP in the first place, you, I would try to give you 4K, right? But if I have free memory, I'm not gonna split those free memory into five power 4Ks. I would try to reclaim some memory from the 4K partition, right? So, so stay, if you say, let, let me ask the question differently. The, the, the thing is mm -hmm. that it sounds like we have like two, two, a two-class system now. We have the very bad four kilobyte and everything else is very good. Um, do, do, do you envision that we will run, and I think I asked a question about Lynn at some point on the mailing list, but I never got a reply. Do you envision that the more we move towards like using, I don't know, 16 kilobyte, 32 kilobytes, that will run into the same issue again, that will say, well, like 16K is bad. Like, it, 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 what I'm trying to say is, is there like a clear distinction what is really bad and everything else is good? Or do you think we might run into similar issues again once we have more larger but still small folders? Uh, I mean, really, really bad, bad is in, in, in terms, terms of, of the, the granularity or in terms of uh, uh, the coverage? Whatever you try to improve, let, let, let me rephrase it this way. I mean, like, of course, like if you allocate one megabyte, you can back it by four kilobyte or you can back it by 16 kilobyte or what, whatever you use. But is there then a clear distinction that four kilobyte is bad and 16 kilobyte is good? If, if you get what I mean, because it will all go yeah, to the yeah, other yeah, like yeah. special area. Yeah. yeah. 
It, 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 so he, he, here's uh, uh, the opposite uh, version from our feed, feed, right? Because right? the, 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 basically, how do we decide which page site to use? That's, that's a very simple question here. I think I should have uh, touched on this part before. So basically, we need to have, for every workload or for uh, all workload we have, there's there, there's a median page size. This makes sense, right? Like three page sizes. You don't go all the way from, I don't know, 4, 16, 32, 64, 128, all of the way. Do you specialize only on two or three? No, you can actually see this because um, here, here, here's how it works. You can look at the page table, right? To see, okay, this region actually can be back by 4K, one, uh, 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 no, I mean, 84K, right? And four, four, uh, 8K or 216K or 132K, right? By um, make a histogram, you see, okay, actually, this, this, much, this much memory, memory can, can be backed, backed by, by this pitch size, size, and this pitch size, size is a medium pitch size. size. Right, and I think for the 32 kilobytes, it's easy, but assume like you have one megabyte. Like there are so many combinations, and I'm asking like, if, if is it fair towards four kilobyte pages to say that they are the bad guys, but 16 kilobytes are the good guys, if you, if you get what I mean? I, I think I got what I mean. I think if you look at distribution, right, it's probably it's like a, a bell curve. So 4K is definitely on the left end you, because we cannot make smaller allocation, page allocations, right? This makes sense, right? And for server workload, why, why is it bell curve? Because, because you have, have so, so much memory. memory. I, I don't, don't, go, go ahead. ahead. No, no comment. Okay. Okay. okay, okay, so, so the medium will be larger, larger definitely larger than 4K, but, but how large it is, that, that's, that's the question. question. So that's, that's why, why, you know, I mentioned the, how we actually uh, 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 sampled our workload to, to see the uh, medium, medium page, page size, size there. there. Because you don't really need uh, the MTG support, or you don't really need even need to turn on MTGP to get this information. You could just look at a page table, page table, right, and say, uh, how, how is it possible to back this water space with a larger page size? Um, uh, sorry, uh, th this this is John Hubbard. I, I had a question. It mm -hmm. seems like if you've got kind of a hard edged rule where you are resistant to splitting a, a larger page, it, I mean, it's it sounds like you're moving toward huge. It sounds like it wants to be huge TLBFS. Uh, just kind of tossing it out there. Uh, I've kind of warmed to huge TLBFS uh, over the last year as I've, you know, watched applications move between that and THP. And I, it's pretty clear that if you really need pages of a certain size that huge TLBFS works well, you're willing to make that trade off and say, <laughs> I've got a distinct carve out. That's really what I need. It's, it's super important. Whereas if you want the flexibility of, of being able to, uh, uh, to get the 4K pages if you really want them, because you've got zillions of small things. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and in that case, you, you don't want to mm -hmm. resist splitting the huge pages. So I'm having a hard time mentally placing where your feature fits in here and, and why you wouldn't just stick with the, the, the existing division. Mm -hmm. try, to make, mm -hmm. try to make THPs uh, flexible and responsive to the right amount of fragmentation pressure, you know, the right amount of... Uh, how hard you should defragment, yeah, and yeah. then just let the well, well, BFS run. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we are in time. So very good question. So that's actually going to be covered in the second part, so policy zones. So what I'm trying to do in, with this THP example, what I'm trying to do is to make this more generalized. With uh, the policy zones, you are, not only you can actually back uh, TLB, you actually can back THP. So basically, you the, the THP and uh, HTLB they converge, right? Why do why do we want to use HTLB? Because we want very specialized, very you know uh, guaranteed coverage, right? But uh, but that's that's a special case because it has its own pool, right? It has um it, it cannot it also HTLB cannot be um, reclaimed, right? If you want to really run reclaim, you cannot do this, right? Also, a lot of uh, the special um. 
uh, treatment we do um, that's, that's, that's different from the what the core MM does, right? So actually, um, the design goal here in the short term is like we not only can uh, infer what exactly you want to do automatically, right? We also can in the long term, at least here we want to eliminate the, the need of specialized tool that that includes CMA and HTML. We also want to um, uh, deprecate or eliminate the DMA and DMA thirty zone because that's that's that not that can be done differently instead of using zones, right? Because that's hardware specific thing, which I don't think that's as important as the software policies. I, I, know, I know it's, it's still, still very big, big, but I hope you know you can uh, just roughly you know um, get the idea of what I'm trying to do here. What do you, what think, do you John? think, John? Well, okay, so it's it's gone half past six, and the AV team are going to have to start tearing down the room. Um, mm -hmm. So, I, do you, do you want to go like another two minutes? Is is there anything else you need to say? Yeah, yeah. 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 So, so I just I want, want to say the use, use cases, cases here. We we, we um, you know, know the community Oppo I think talk about this. The uh, deployments also at Google. Um, we also trying to leverage this to do HVO. For THPs, not for huge TLB, right? And also, we want we also plan to support one GBT HTPs. It's not hundred percent transparent. You still have to add some new M device, uh, 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 new M device calls, but I think it's doable. Also, we can use separate uh, HTML page sizes for for CPU and device, right? Because you have a zone, you can say this zone is only support this base page size. And then this zone can be shared. The CPU zone, memory zone, can be shared with device. For example, GPU. So also, I have a comparison table why we're trying to use zone, not page block, not new page block types. So yeah, two minutes. More questions here? All right. Th thanks for the presentation. Appreciate it. Thanks. Thank you.